Let's look at the Gibbs free energy for a system. The Gibbs function is defined as the enthalpy minus the temperature times the entropy. If there's a change in Gibbs free energy, if there's a negative change, if there's a downhill direction for Gibbs free energy, that's the favored direction for a chemical process or a physical process. So delta G is delta H for the system minus T delta S for the system. You can talk about that for any system in general, or you can talk about specifically the standard states of the system. If you put all the products and reactants at one molar, if it's a concentration, and one atmosphere if it's a gas, or pure liquids or pure solids, then this standard free energy difference gives you the relative ordering of those standard state reactants and standard state products. If the standard state products are higher in energy than the standard state reactants, then that's a positive delta G, and that says that the reactants are favored. If the products are lower in free energy in their standard states than the reactants in their standard states, then that's a negative free energy difference, and the products are favored. So you can talk about the various changes in enthalpy, entropy, and free energy, and for a process to be spontaneous, to be favored by the universe, it could have a decrease in enthalpy, it could release energy, or it could absorb energy, or the system could go towards a higher entropy state, more microstates to disperse the energy among, or it could go to a lower entropy state, where the number of microstates is smaller, and I have a smaller space that I can disperse the energy around. But for a process to be favored, the free energy must always decrease. So the entropy and the enthalpy, in particular, aren't actual predictors of the direction of the chemical reaction, but the free energy is always a predictor of the direction of the chemical reaction. If the free energy difference between products and reactants is negative, then I go towards products. Now, I can summarize that and say that for spontaneous processes, processes that are favored, the free energy difference is less than zero. Now, since free energy is a state function, I can calculate the free energy change for a reaction by taking the standard free energies of formation of the products minus the standard free energies of formation of the reactants. So this gives me a powerful tool to determine whether a reaction is favored or unfavored based on free energies of formation of the products and reactants. So I have predictive power now whether a reaction is likely to go based on the free energy of the system.